Hi guys, welcome to The Batch Lady, where today I want to show you how to make a lovely spiced red cabbage. Now, as you know on The Batch Lady, I show you how to make things in advance, put them in your freezer so that you don't have to have the stress on the actual day that you want to eat them of starting from scratch and making the whole thing. You'll already have it organised. And it's Christmas time. I love spiced red cabbage with our Christmas dinner. So if you do too, then um, stay tuned for this recipe. It's really quite simple. Okay, you are going to need a red cabbage. You're going to need some olive oil. Uh, I'm using some diced frozen chopped onions, but you could just use an onion if you want to chop your own. Um, I'm using some um, ready-made chopped garlic. So already chopped for me and it's frozen. Again, you can just use your own garlic if you want. Fennel seeds, Chinese five spice, and some um, brown sugar. Is that everything? Yep, yeah, that's everything. Okay, to get started, you're going to take a pot and you're going to put some olive oil in it, just a good splash of olive oil, just to get the pot started. You're going to take your fennel seeds and you want two teaspoons of fennel seeds. You're going to put these in the oil just while you're getting the rest of the stuff ready so that they can start to infuse. I love fennel. Such a lovely, lovely smell, but some people like it, some people hate it. I think it's like Marmite, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below whether it's a thing that you like. Right, as that's just starting to infuse, you want to get ready with your chopped onions. I'm using a cup, but like I say, you could just chop an onion and put a whole onion in, okay? So we'll just get this started. Just give this a mix around, give it a minute to just get going. You can start to hear it heat now. And in go my onions. Again, I'm going to do the same with the garlic. I just want two teaspoons of garlic. If you're looking for this full recipe, you'll get it at www.thebatchlady.com. You can print it off for free, um, or you can get it on your phone and just follow it along as you go. Now, just give that a stir around. It's going to be noisy, but while you're waiting on that to soften, you can get going with your red cabbage. Now I've got mine here in an already food processor and I'm just shredding it, okay? So when you cut your cabbage, you're taking the, um, the end of it off, you don't want that hard end. You're left with little blocks like this, you can either put them through a food processor, but if you don't have a food processor, don't worry, you're just, if you just start chopping, it'll actually shred it into long sort of bits like that. That's what you really want. I'm going to finish mine off in the food processor while the onions are getting going. Okay, I've just pulled my onions off the heat because they are good to go. My red cabbage is shredded, so I'm just going to add that into the pan. Okay, I want half a cup of red wine vinegar. So that's about 120 mils. It goes in the pan. I'm going to add my Chinese five spice. I want two, uh, two teaspoons of this. One, two, I'm a bit rough and ready, so it comes out the same. I've never been one for exact portioning, so um, give it a little mix around. And then I'll just add the rest of this one that I chopped in as well. I want to give it a good salt and pepper. I want to add my sugar in now, so one tablespoon of brown sugar, that's just going to cut through that tartness. And another mix. So it's looking like this. You see that? I mean, what I love about this dish is it gives a really lovely, vibrant colour to the table and to your plate as well. Um, Sometimes if you've got brown turkey and roast veg, and it can all look a little bit brown, so it's quite nice to add some flavouring. Now, um, some colour, sorry, some colour. Okay, now you want two apples, and you just want to chop these and get them in the pan. Okay, once your apple's in the, in the pan, get it back on the heat. Okay, you're going to leave it for about 15 minutes, so you can turn it down to a simmer. So just move it across. And you want to sort of stir it um, just as you go. If you don't want to stand about and wait to stir it, you can just put it in the oven for 15 minutes and let all those flavours come together. We'll come back and then check it out in 15 minutes, get ready to package it up for the freezer, okay? 
Okay, so we're back 15 minutes later. It's been on a sort of medium to low heat and you would have noticed when you're thinking, oh, there's not much liquid in it, but there's a lot of liquid that does come out when the cabbage is cooking itself. If you want to make it even more decadent, just a couple of minutes before the end, you can just add a large knob of butter in there and let it melt around. Delicious, it's up to you, that's an option for you, but you don't need the knob of butter if you don't want to. Let me let you see what this looks like. I'm gonna pour it out. Oh, it's hot. A facial at the same time. And look at that. I mean, beautiful colouring to have on your table on Christmas Day. Smells lovely, smells Christmassy. Um, a really nice other sort of vegetable dish to have on the side. Um, especially if you've got vegetarians and things like that, this would be delicious. Now, I'm going to leave that to completely cool, okay? Then I'm going to package it up into my bags. You could use a reusable bag, but this will stain, so I'm not going to, okay? I'm more likely to going to put it in one of these bags, okay? Um, I'm going to wait for it to completely cool, put it in the bag, labelled, freeze it absolutely flat, seal it up, and get it in your freezer and it'll take up no room at all, okay? Lovely spiced cabbage, why not give it a go?